Listen, guys, I'm not going to scream the Wikipedia overview at you for the next five minutes straight or sprinkle in a smattering of pithy jokes, whether about New Balances, jean shorts, or barbecue grills. I'm just not going to do it because I'm Jordan. This is Speed Culture Studios, and we are modifying one of the greatest sports cars of all time, the C5 Corvette. from and a great leap forward from the C4, the fifth generation Corvette left a little bit of room for improvement. A lighter, stiffer, faster platform than ever before. You really couldn't find much better off a showroom floor at the time. So you might have the question, how can we possibly improve upon that? I got you. First, I'd set aside about four or 500 bucks for a good quality cold air intake system. Anything not eBay should do the trick, quite honestly. Now that your C5 is breathing in a little bit better, you wanna help it exhale a little bit better as well. So, catless headers with a good quality catback system. That'll get you there. Now, contrary to what some people might tell you, header selection actually does matter, at least if you want the parts to install properly and fit better than a linebacker in a miniskirt. So, for that reason, I'd recommend Cooks, a good quality brand that's going to fit perfectly and sound excellent. Pair that with a good catback system like Billy Boat, Borla, or Corsa, of course. I would say all in, you're probably looking at about 1,500 bucks for headers, maybe another 1,500 to $2,000 for a good catback system. This sweet little combination is gonna get you in that low to mid 300 wheel horsepower range, really waking the car up both in performance and how it sounds. <laughs> to approach or surpass that 400 wheel horsepower mark, you're gonna to have to look at heads, cam, and intake, and also drop a little bit of coin to do so. Now don't worry about weight reduction at this time. GM took care of that with the all aluminum LS1, the aluminum transaxle assembly, and by reducing the overall part count by 1,200 components, the C5 Corvette did not have an aluminum chassis. The aluminum chassis came with the C6 Z06. Instead, I focus on putting that newfound horsepower to the ground more efficiently with a suspension upgrade. Now, the composite leaf spring setup of the C5 Corvette is actually quite genius, and those that say it sucks really just don't understand it. But the reality is that this 3,300 pound car has now been sitting on these leaf springs for over 20 years, and it's time for an upgrade. Now, for a car that sits so low, GM still somehow managed to give it a 4x4 stance. You could lower that wheel gap and lower the center of gravity by utilizing the factory lowering bolts. Now, it's free and relatively easy to do, but it's not ideal. Generally, I'm a big fan of BC Racing. I had BC Racing coilovers on my Q50, and I recommend them generally across the board, but for the C5 Corvette, they're just not the move. Instead, I look at Fortune Auto for a good, good quality suspension setup, or check out Silvers if you're looking for a good bang for the buck coilover. I say that a good set of coilovers is gonna help you reduce that wheel gap, gonna help you reduce or eliminate the wheel hop that you're likely experiencing now at this point. And it's gonna, more importantly, help you transfer that horsepower and torque more efficiently and effectively to the ground. And that's the key here with the C5 Corvette. Of course, a nice wheel and tire package is one of the most important upgrades that you can make to any car, and the C5 Corvette is no exception. Aside from sliding my toesies into a new pair of socks, there's little that makes me happier than a perfect fitment. Unfortunately, GM made this tough on us Corvette owners with a ludicrous bolt pattern of 5 on 120.65, which is not the same as 5 on 120, which makes it difficult to find a decent set of wheels with a nice design and the proper spec. Uh, if you're anything like me, you like a flush fitment with a little meat on the bone. So for the wheels, we're looking at an 18 by 9.5 plus 50 in the front with an 18 by 11 plus 55 in the rear. For tires, 275, 40, 18 in the front with a 305, 35, 18 in the rear. That's going to get you damn near flush with a staggered setup. Now, Ford Star F14s come in this bolt pattern in this spec right off the shelf. Now, I've always thought 18 inch wheels on the C5 Corvette were perfect, but 19s are gonna get you more tire options, which arguably is the most important upgrade of them all. Now the Nitto R2 and the Nitto G2 are as popular as a white sneaker and a vet emblazoned polo these days, and the Hankook Ventus Evo is becoming more common, and the Advent Apex is a cheap date if you like them fat and sticky. And of course, make sure you check out my friends at Motorsports LA for your wheel needs. Like a tray of oysters and a fancy box of wine on a Friday night, these are just a couple of things to get the party started. There's a huge selection of parts and accessories available for the C5 Corvette to tickle your fancy. From LED headlights and sequential turn signals to power adders and carbon fiber glorifer, under 10,000 bucks, you can really take one of the greatest sports cars of all time 
and make it one sexy B word. Obviously, she's likely to have some quirks about her, and after two decades on Earth, she's a little too old for Leo DiCaprio, but if you treat her right, she'll treat you better. A very well-balanced machine for under 15K and performance capabilities that rival much newer sports cars, the C5 Corvette truly is hard to beat in 2024, which is why its popularity is skyrocketing at the moment. So I would suggest getting your hands on one before it's too late, and if you already have a C5 Corvette, I would suggest subscribing to this channel because we're not just talking about modifying a C5 Corvette, we're actually doing it. And I already have a bunch of videos uploaded to the channel. I'm not trying to earn your business or sell you anything. I'm simply trying to build a community of enthusiasts and provide support where I can. From part reviews and installation videos to rental car reviews and simple weekend vlogs, I try to cover a range of topics that cover a range of platforms. So I'm certain that you find something of interest and I happen to upload every Wednesday and Sunday. I tried to. I'm certainly not the best content creator or the best video editor, but I try to be as responsive to the comments as I possibly can, and I try to provide as much support as I possibly can. I always leave links in the description to any parts or tools that I mention or discuss in the video for your convenience, and I try to post, like I said, every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you find anything in this channel interesting or you have any topics that you want to address, let me know in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys watching this video very much. I appreciate the continued support up to this point. We have a lot of stuff coming for the channel and I'm excited about what's to come for the C5 Corvette. So if you're interested in Corvette stuff specifically, we got a lot of that happening right now. Thank you again for watching this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.